If I were one of the YouTubers being caught up in this FTX lawsuit right now, I would be sweating. Why? Well, it's because of this huge news right here. Uh, so it turns out, guys, that the SEC came out with some pretty bombshell charges. Uh, it says here, SEC charges crypto entrepreneur Justin Sun and his companies for fraud and other securities laws violations. Now, I have no idea who Justin Sun is, but I'm also not a crypto guy. So take that with what you will. However, I do know who these celebrities are. So if we scroll down, the biggest name on here is obviously Jake Paul. Uh, you also have Lindsay Lohan that's on here. You have Soulja Boy, very popular rapper in the early 2000s. Definitely one of my favorites back when I was in middle school and then when I was a kid. You also have Austin Mahone, uh, Kendra Lust. You got Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty's still really popular right now. He's a... Uh, uh, he's like a mid 2010s type of rapper. He was popular like 2015, 2016. Some of his songs are good. Sometimes he's a hit or miss rapper. Uh, Neo, very popular in the nineties and the early two thousands. Very pop. Well, early two thousands, I'd say was his, his time, but yeah, very popular singer. I definitely really love this music as well. And then my favorite artist on this list, Akon. Oh boy. I used to love Akon when I was in middle school. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. Man, Akon used to be amazing. But anyway, yeah, all these guys promoted a scam as the SEC is claiming without disclosing that they were compensated. Let's go right here. The SEC simultaneously charged the following eight celebrities for illegally touting TRX and slash or BTT without disclosing that they were compensated for doing so in the amount of their compensation. Uh, where's that part about 400,000? I want to show you guys something else. Here it is. It's all the way at the bottom. So whenever I see numbers like this, and I look at how much money these celebrities have, I always think like, man, this is such a slap on the wrist. But actually, this really isn't that bad. So it says right here, with the exception of Cortez Way, which is Soldier Boy and Mahone, uh, the celebrities charged today agree to pay a total of more than $400,000 uh, penalties to settle the charges without admitting or denying the SEC's findings. Now, the way I'm reading it is that all the celebrities together have agreed to pay a total of more than $400,000. So I don't think that they're saying that that's each one, even though I think that's what they deserve. I think each one of them should pay 400,000. However, I'm not sure if that if the lawsuit is actually saying that the way that they're wording it. But either way, let's just say that Jake Paul is only has to pay 100,000 or 80,000. I don't know, whatever they settled for. Well, at first I thought that was actually horrible, but cuz he's so rich, but when you take it to account how much he actually got paid, well, then I start to see, okay, that's a pretty good penalty. Like, he's spending way more than he actually made. So, you know, at least we're making some progress here. Let me go ahead and see if I can actually find it. So here's the, like, full-on paperwork of their individual uh, thing against uh, Jake Paul. Here it is right here. It says right here, in February of 2021, Jake Paul promoted... Uh, a crypto asset security on Twitter in exchange for a payment of crypto assets valued at approximately $25,019. Paul, at the time of his promotion, had approximately 3.8 million Twitter followers. So if he only got paid $25,000, which don't get me wrong, you getting paid and you're not following the rules of the SEC, then yeah, you should get in trouble. But if he only made $25,000 and the SEC is fining him more than that or they're settling for more than that, that makes me feel better because he's paying more than what he got. Now, the unfortunate part is these people are so rich that eighty dollars to $100,000 is nothing to these people. That's a slap on the wrist because they're all mega rich. So that's the only problem that I would have. Now, let me talk about how this relates to the crypto, to the uh, FTX people, the uh, YouTube influencers that are all with the same agency that are involved in this FTX lawsuit stuff. Let me show you guys a very interesting comment. The individual investor left this comment right here under one of my FTX lawsuit videos. He said the case will most likely be dismissed. The SEC will eventually step in and charge all of them, including BitBoy. Uh, I actually agree for the most part. I don't know if the case will be dismissed, though. Uh, if you want my honest opinion, I think it'll probably be settled. That's what I think. But again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just speculating. So don't take my advice as like legal advice or anything. I know I'm wearing a suit, but <laughs> I am not a lawyer. Okay. That's just my honest opinion. I definitely agree with the last part that he said though. The individual investor said 
the SEC will eventually step in and charge all of them, including Big Boy. That's actually what I think is going to happen. If you guys look at my older videos, I've, I've been saying this for a while, that I think the SEC is eventually going to step in and go after these people. We're starting to see the signs. I mean, for crying out loud, something just happened to Coinbase today. I, I'm, I may or may not make a video on that. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would even care, but I guess the SEC like sent a letter to the, to the uh, Coinbase and basically said, we're going to charge you guys. Like We're about to go after you. So here's a courtesy. If you want to tell us why you don't think we should charge you or go after you, let us know. But otherwise, we're coming after you guys any day now. Like that's basically what happened today. So the SEC is is they're doing a little a, they're doing a little something. Uh, I still think they do a horrible job of enforcing uh, the rules and protecting investors and just protecting consumers and protecting people. But I mean, at least they're doing something. I think something that will make me very happy is if the SEC goes after these YouTubers. I think I think it's desperately needed. It, it it really is. Especially some of these people who promoted cryptocurrencies and didn't, you know, didn't follow the rules, didn't even disclose and cuz like I said, the SEC is on this whole wave of they think that this stuff is a security. So that's just kind of where we're at with it. So yeah, I agree with the individual investor. I think that some of these YouTubers will eventually be charged. I don't know if every single YouTuber in that lawsuit will be charged by the SEC. I really don't think so. I don't know. But I do think some of them will. And I agree with him when he says including BitBoy. I think eventually the SEC is going to go after BitBoy. I really do. He's like the poster child for being involved in promoting cryptos and all this different stuff. And, you know, I remember he had this contest on his Twitter where he was like, if anybody could find proof that, I promoted a cryptocurrency without disclosing that I got paid or whatever, pre-show proof, and then Zach XBT showed proof. This guy on Twitter, very popular. He's like the coffeezilla of Twitter uh, in crypto. He showed proof that <laughs> BitBoy promoted a crypto without disclosing it, which, yeah, the SEC could go after him for that. And then BitBoy had to send him like $10,000. It was crazy. So, yeah, crazy stuff. If I'm these YouTubers, I'm definitely sweating. Uh, it's good to see some of these celebrities finally get recognized. I don't think anybody really cares about these rappers. Uh, even though a lot of them did promote a bunch of scams. So let's be honest, guys. All of these celebrities participated in the foolishness, just like with all the Bored Ape things. Remember those Bored Ape NFTs? Let me let me Google it real quick so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Bored Ape. Remember all these celebrities uh, had all these uh, Bored, Ape, Bored Ape NFTs? Yeah, these are it right here. Remember all the celebrities had this as like their profile pic? It was absolutely insane. Like all of these celebrities participated in this foolishness and they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. They, they had no idea what any of this stuff was and they just promoted it because people offered them money for it. Same thing with crypto. These celebrities were promoting anything. It was Paul Pierce, Floyd Mayweather, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, anybody. They were all promoting this garbage because these companies were paying insane amounts of money for them to promote this garbage to their followers. And it's just absolutely insane. But yeah, things are heating up. So like I said, as we continue to get more news, I'll definitely continue to go ahead and give you guys a scoop, let you know what I'm thinking. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So yeah, that's really all I got in terms of the Jake Paul thing. I just want to go ahead, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, Yeah, I think I got everything. Like I said, I don't know who Justin Sun is. Uh, I know who all these celebrities are. I hope you guys do too, because a lot of them make really good music. It's sad that they are so greedy that even though they're all millionaires, they decided to promote scams on their channels, but that's the world we live in. So, all right, there you guys have it. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.